And the Obama family now has four more years to call the White House home for Sasha and Malia. That means spending most of their teenaged years there. ABC Sharon Alfonsi, who was covering the battleground state of Wisconsin for us on election night, joins us now from Milwaukee with a look at the years ahead for the first family. And those can be dicey years. It's hard to be a teenager, much less a teenager in the White House, Sharon. I know, you really have to feel for them. You know, throughout the campaign, we kept seeing the Romney kids and the grandkids on the stage, but we really only got glimpses of Sasha and Malia. But then last night, they walk onto stage, and we all thought, wow, they've gotten really big. They're 11 and 14 years old right now. And you have to wonder this morning how they're feeling, knowing they have four more years in the White House, four more years as teenagers. Overnight, once again, front and center. Sasha and Malia. Before our very eyes, you're growing up to become two strong, smart, beautiful young women, just like your mom. Sasha and Malia Obama, older, more poised, and taller than four years ago. Hi, Daddy! Hey, sweetie! Presidential daughters rewarded for a grueling campaign with a new dog. You have earned the new puppy that's coming with us to the White House. Seven-year-old Sasha and 10-year-old Malia Obama's Chicago world uprooted. A new home, new friends, a new school. You know, I did worry what this life would be like for them. You know, could I keep them normal? Could we instill in them the values that we learned growing up? Humility and decency and treating people with respect. Because of that, much of what we've seen has been carefully controlled by their parents, hoping to give them a regular childhood. They're very careful about what they say about the girls and really do their best to, to shelter and protect them. So we've seen them in glimpses. Dad coaching Sasha's basketball team, watching football, reading to the children. Tell the cat in the hat you do not want to play. Their first day of school. And I know Malia was really embarrassed when I walked her to the classroom. But I went anyway because she is daddy's girl and will remain daddy's girl until she's about 30. That was Malia then and now. She's 14, a teenager nearly as tall as her mother. 11-year-old Sasha sprouting up too, from that thumbs up to the inauguration to on stage overnight. I look at them in the same way and think, wow, you guys have grown up and you're so poised and you're so sweet. Um, so there's that motherly side of me. Um, uh, but it's still always a balance between protecting them. A balance that will only grow tougher as they grow. They have a regular life. They've got friends and sleepovers and, you know, to them, it's home. By the end of this term, Sasha will be 15, Malia 18. Those sleepovers traded for college applications. They'll have lived more than half their lives in Washington. They're smart, they're funny, but most importantly, they're kind. Now there will be more milestones in that big white house like homecomings and learning to drive. I promised her that she will, in fact, be able to learn how to drive. And there will be proms and graduations and, yes, even first dates. I have men with guns that surround them uh, often. <laughs> And the president was asked that about that, about dating in an interview recently in New Hampshire. And he said there has been, quote, no official interest from the girls. At least that is the party line.